There's no place like home. This is Home Wizards, where we love to help you improve your home and improve your life. I'm Cindy Dole. And I'm Eric Stromer. And here we are. The countdown continues to Christmas. We're inching our way closer and closer in December. And I thought we would talk about um, outdoor Christmas decor, not the inflatables. No. I mean, they're cute. No, I, uh, no, I take issue with that. They are not cute. They're big and they're really? gaudy. I don't like them. They're, they can be festive. And I mean, I like the ones where they look like a globe. You know, it's a cute. I'm sorry. Globe. What, are you a, are you a, a professional radio announcer? What, what, what is it? A globe. <laughs> it's like a snow globe. Yeah, it really um, is. But it's cute. It is cute. I've seen the globe. Yeah. yeah. The big Santa, the big snowman ones, though. One, one time, one fell over on my kid on his tricycle. Oh. Freaked him out. And he has nightmares, right? Christmas gives him nightmares. Well, let's, so let's talk about some. I guess more down home, things that you can do with what you already have maybe around the house and adding a few string lights here and there to make your front entry and front yard look vavum. You know, I almost think that the outdoor decorations are more important in some ways than the interior Christmas decorations because it really kind of makes a statement, doesn't it? And especially at nighttime when it's all lit up and it just gives you that magical glow with, with the right kind of colors and the right light, doesn't it? It's a, It says, come on in. There's going to be cozy eggnog and some Christmas cookies. Come yeah, on in. And it makes you smile. Yes, it does. I mean, does it, does it make you want to drive around and look at people's homes? I We do that, actually. Yeah. My neighborhood has a couple of just beautiful homes that they do every year that are just pretty much art directed. It must be again these professional lighting yeah, guys, like the Halloween folks. Exactly. We did this in the uh, in the Pasadena uh, Sierra Madre area. It's called Hastings Ranch. Have you heard of that? No. What is that? Well, we would go every Christmas Eve, and then you drive around, and every street has a theme. All the neighbors have gotten together, and like their street's going to be the Grinch. The next one's going to be candy canes or whatever. And they sh- they change it every year. Yeah. Oh. And then like they have a theme that kind of co- coordinates with that category. That's it's a really cool. nice idea, yeah. So it's community yeah. pride. Yeah. But so we looked at some of these great things and you got to love this starry basket idea. This is like our our pumpkins, remember when we were we were taking the string lights from inside the hollowed pumpkin mm-hmm. and pressing it outward. This is the same idea but in a a hanging basket. Yeah, this is really pretty. This, you know, this has kind of a Ralph Lauren feel, doesn't it? The way yes. the way they they shoot those catalogs. Yeah. yeah. It looks just very looks woodsy. it looks woodsy and rustic. Like you it's just beautiful. got off of your horse, you've been out riding for the day. And you've had <laughs> A leather duster on and a six gun on your side, <laughs> and you're ready to come in and have some cider and and write the great novel, and then get on the internet. It's something, <laughs> something like that. But here's how you can do this. I mean, you get one of these chain um, coordinated baskets, and they can either be the the husk type or this twigs. Do you have well, these? Well, these look like they would be the hanging baskets that you would have a floral arrangement. Yeah, in, don't totally, they? the yeah. kind that you would have on your patio. Right. So you can get these from a garden center, or uh-huh. you probably already have them at home. And then they, and then you basically get these string lights, about a hundred bulbs worth, and you're going to push them from the inside of the basket out. Right. Right. But I also love how you can add more things inside. This looks like snow. And, and you know what it looks like from a distance? It looks like a large ornament. A large it's ornament. It's just beautiful. Or like just some kind of a starry night creature. I mean, it has these little stars coming out with icicles that come down to the base. Uh-huh. And then in the uh, in the inside of the basket, you can fill it up with metal stars that might even be battery-operated lights. You can find those, too. Sure. And yeah. then get some of this artificial snow and have a couple of those hanging from your trees or from your your balcony or whatever. Perfect. Kind of cool? It really is beautiful. I mean, you don't have and to. Then, have... And then it seems like you could also maybe do a fake flocking looking snow yeah. coming out, you know, because yes. here in Southern California, we're not going to have snow in baskets, obviously, but this gives it's, a nice. Uh, it gives it a cozy, icy, yeah. ice fairy look. Yeah. Um, and then the idea of having lanterns that kind of welcome you, but adding more of the bling is kind of cool. I like it. Yeah. Um, you get some garland, uh, you weave it around to have this almost ethereal look, and you add some of these globes. Again, you can get a string of the globes. Yep. Either battery operated or plug it in with an extension cord, and that kind of gives it a nice. Can I just tell you, I think Christmas lights in any configuration, even if they're on a pile on the on the on the lawn, they look great. You really can't go wrong. And my to my point, 
just try. Just make some design choices and go out and do whatever you can think of, even if it's not perfectly executed. And it, it just looks festive and welcoming, doesn't it? It totally does. Yeah. Um, and why not string the lights around some pillars that you might have in the front of your your front entryway. You know, I Isn't have I have the white lights all year round in my backyard. Do you? Oh yeah, looks like a little Italian cantina. That's cute. Oh, it works wonders <laughs> when you're celebrating. At Do you night. have it like wrapped around the trunk of a I tree? Have, yeah, I have it going through trees and then draping across the yard. There, it's it's great. See, looking. that's the California lights. Is what yes, that is, that's right? That's right. See, that's a little kind of an L.A. living thing. I mean, you know, and you have... I've killed two birds with one stone. I'm not just a seasonal guy. No, I do it all year long, and I don't have to do it during the Christmas holiday because it's been done already. You, you've got it always going on. That's how I do it. How about uh, for your front doorway? We're going to talk about poinsettias in a bit, but while you can, if you can picture here having a cluster three and three on either side of your front door, you've got mm-hmm. the wreath in the middle, and then the garland all around uh, the exterior of your door, but then also wrapping some lights around the mm. garland. Have you ever done that? No, but that sure is pretty. It just makes that front door look looks like dreamy. Looks like a jewel, mm-hmm. doesn't it? Yeah. And again, the, I've used I've used battery operated lights on a wreath too, where you string the lights around the wreath for the for your front door. Mm-hmm. But maybe with all these lights around the garland on the perimeter, what would you think? I guess you could plug that in. Sure, I have a I have a plug right next to my front door. Boom, done. Yep, that's right. Uh, the why, garland. Why is it that the poinsettias are so beautiful? Uh, we'll, we'll talk about it. Yeah, later. I just I, it's I because just love of the them. color that pops. Yeah. I mean, it just yeah. yeah. Um, this is one of my favorites. I I could see you making this, Eric, in what? a snap. These hanging icicles, and who knew that it's basically screen, right? Yeah, it's a window screen. It looks like they've almost created a cone out of the window. Out of the window, yeah, screen. and you're stuffing in there the string lights and even some baubles and beads and things to make it look almost like a worm. <laughs> it almost looks like too. They've done some batting, cotton batting, uh-huh. a little bit, doesn't it? Uh huh. To give it that fluffy sort of cloud look as well. And how are you? How would we hang these? I guess. Well, you could easily use any kind of a clip system on the gutter itself, uh-huh. or or you could use the uh, the the adhesive stickers. That go on to hang Christmas lights that would hang these fine. But isn't that gorgeous? Because yeah. this this now gives us our own feeling of a chalet in Southern California. You know, California. we're not going to have icicles here. You we're know, not. I grew up with icicles. You, did. you know, the whole the whole winter you'd see them forming on your good old Evanston. House, you bet. And uh, there, we used to break them off, and then of course I'd hit my brother with them. <laughs> I'd you even probably, stab him sometimes. Well, you probably had icicles on your face, too, because probably your mustache some, days. Yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> but the icicle idea, I think, is a really, really cool idea. Yep. Now, if you really are one of those people who don't really have the time or the energy to wrap all those lights around your house, why not get some of these whimsical, you've seen them at the hardware stores, these little curly cute trees. See what I'm saying? They just basically go round and round with a strand of light, and you're done. I mean, yeah. it's it, and especially if you get two or three of them. That's a little more mod looking. It's kind of mod it, but looking, but it is beautiful. It, it almost looks like a a slinky that you've pulled. It totally open a does. Bit, doesn't it, it does. It yeah. looks like a cartoon yeah. tree, but um, it, it you know again, it's a pre-strung wired tree that could either be quote unquote planted. I've mm-hmm. seen people plant them in their front yard so it looks kind of natural as if it's coming out of the landscape. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, it's great. Saves you time. Uh. Another really cute one is this table scene. Do you like that? The Love idea this. of, again, bringing the inside out or the outside in, welcoming people with a nice piece of wood, a nice wooden table of some kind, even like the picnic table you guys have at your house. That's right. And then putting a bunch of lanterns with candles and then some garland on it, different varying heights, and so you have even, this glow. Even a couple of pine branches. Yeah. It looks great, doesn't, doesn't it? Doesn't it look cute? Yeah. And you can have that right to the side of your front door to welcome people. Yeah, Is and there, maybe that's where they the can glow. drop all those gifts that we're going to receive. <laughs> those, the, that prepackaged the cash. booze. Just the cash. Leave that's cash right, right here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're always huge fans of the luminaries. Why not? And um, I you, love these because they've got Christmas trees cut out in them. You know, kind yeah. of a different, kind of an aside to the the you know the the uh, Spanish influenced ones. Right? right. You can just cut out your own stenciled version. Right. That's Make right. your own design, and love then them. use the battery operated. That's little right. votives, right? Yeah. Fill in a little sand for weight. Uh, one of our other favorites is the idea of using your garden art, like cherubs. Do you have any statues in your yard? I have one tiny little cherub. Cute. Love it. So, and you know what I'm thinking of getting? What's that? A gnome. 
I think you should get I a gnome. I want a gnome. I've always wanted one. You get like one of the colored. Like well, it's I just all... saw the movie Gnomeo and Juliet with my kids over the weekend, and I re- I remembered that uh, they're cute. I, I love they're those. They're happy gnomes. One, I'm gonna get one. With the, like the little red hat and the I'm gonna get the green. a blue hat one. Okay. Yeah. Well, this is a your standard, you know concrete cherub um, that you can use to decorate for Christmas by mm-hmm. putting a bundle of the string of lights right there like it's it's holding this this energy like of Like a ball of, of light, positivity. if you will. Yeah. 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 Isn't that cute? To bring it the welcome in the new it's season. It's the welcoming of the new season. Yeah. Um, and then, again, the same idea, a winter topiary by using more of those little tiny white bulbs, but you, you use this and you, you wind it around one of those urns that you might have right. in your yard. Yeah. Love that. Fun. That's, almost, that's like a bird bath almost, isn't it? It totally is. Uh-huh. And speaking of bird baths, if you have a bird feeder that right now, especially if you have, it has a glass canister or plastic or see-through canister, just put a string of lights, battery-operated lights, stuff it inside and put the lid of the bird feeder there. And you can still put some food around the perimeter, but now it's lit up and it glows and it's it's entertaining for well, the birds. Well, it's almost like an all-night drive-in for the birds, isn't it? <laughs> it's like a highway rest stop. It is a love fest yes, right it there. Is, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get a little berry music going That's on it. and yeah. All right, well, coming up we're going to talk more about some great Christmas ideas. The point Sadia as we talked about, you know, you think that they're poisonous, but they aren't. You'd yeah, have, that, you, that's you, the misconception. You'd have isn't to it? I mean, yes, they're they're a toxic plant, but you know, you have to eat like hundreds of them. Which I'm clearly not going to You're not do. going to, no. but we're going to talk about how you keep them looking beautiful, the different colors. Do you know that there's a midnight blue? You know, I only thought they were red. They're pink, they're coral. We're going to talk about that Get and more really? coming up next. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Home Wizards, Cindy Dole, Eric Stromer. We love to help improve your home, improve your life, and we're back after this on KFWB News Talk 980. Put the lights on the tree.